Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sukadin. Last time, we liberated the castle of Moravia to save it, and we recruited Warren, who was the leader of the castle. We also defeated Kasim Hazil, one of the five Imperial Generals, so now he has joined our Liberation Army as well. One general down, I mean, four generals down, one to go, so let us see if we can take on the last general already. Everybody's here in the war room, so let's do this. Commander Monkey G, at this time, we have liberated most of the Empire, leaving only the Imperial Capital. Yeah, buddy. It's true, though. We cleared the entire world map. The only thing left is to go back to Greg Minister. Uh, whew. We are formidable. Bring it on. Even Sanchez thinks so. Good. We are ready. What target do we attack next? The Capital, no doubt? Well, to get there, we gotta get past the Fortress of Quaba, which is commanded by Ain Guide. Or we gotta go past the Water, which is guarded by... Sonia Shulin. Well, Sonia Shulin, huh? Fortress of Shazarad. I say we go Quava. It's by land. We don't exactly have enough boats. Exactly. That's exactly what they think. Uh-oh. 500 boats by tomorrow? Okay, if you say so, Matayu. Um, if Matayu thinks he can do it, I'm not going to naysay. If you can do it, more power to you. But if you can't do it, I guess we're going by Quava. So, I mean, it's like... That's cool. That's why. That's how I look at this. Like, if it wasn't gonna work, then oh well, we would just go the other way. Strategist Matthew, sir. Yes, sir Humphrey. I heard that you were once in the Imperial Army, and that the Calica incident was the reason you left. That is true. I was unable to prevent that tragedy. In the middle of the war, I discovered my own power system and left the Imperial forces. And I was hoping to lead a quiet life and never to be to war again. I was one of the soldiers who attacked Calica. Oh, okay. In my fury, I attacked my own commander and became a fugitivo. Fugitivus. That was the first time I attacked someone out of pure hatred. And I hope that it was the last time. Humphrey, this is no time to be distressed. We have a job to do. Once the war is over, we can retire and head back to wherever the hell it is we came from. Sounds good to me. And since we're kind of prepping up for the final battle, we're going to get a few little side screen or side cutscenes here of people who are kind of main characters along, like, who have been main characters along the way, i.e. Jen here and Commandall, talking about the big battle tomorrow. I told you not to enter my room without permission. Your room doesn't even have a door, you old man. Seriously. Crazy scheme, I've got to work all night. Let's have a drink, son. Let's drink it down. Yeah. Tea? Who drinks tea? Drink something hard, bitch. Better be Long Island iced tea. We got Pawn and Cleo up in the room having one of those last nights on Earth type of nights, if you know what I mean. Yes. It looks like the young master become a very important person. True. Pawn, can you use something that's more than one syllable? Apparently not. All one syllables for Pawn. I miss him a lot. A lot, a lot. We got Taiho, Yamku, and Kimberly down there having a little, you know, menage a trois, you know what I mean? You're not drinking, Taiho. Oh, I was just thinking about tomorrow, about tonight. <laughs> Let's have a good time tonight, just the two of us. Just the two of us. Until sunrise. Yeah, it seems like there's three if you ask me. Yamku's like, what? What? The three of us. Oh my god. Talk about the implication. Uh, they try to they try to get rid of the implication right there at the end with Yamku saying, oh man, I better not let Tai Ho get uh, sucked into her spider web. We got Hicks and Tangar over here, chilling at the bonfire all by themselves. Did you say something, Tangar? Have some of this delicious fish. Oh, why are you always like that? never want to get romantic. I'm not angry. You're just oblivious. That's all, Hicks. You're just an oblivious fella. You can't help it. Some guys can't help it. And then there's Flick all by himself. What are you doing, Sanchez? Flick doesn't want to see yo ugly old ass motherfucking face. Oh, nothing. Just thinking about Lady Odessa. Indeed. If only she were here to celebrate with us in our triumphs, it would have been nice. Sanchez is going to take him back to his room for tea. 
Skeptical. Who else do we have? Fucking what the hell? Crin? Crin? Why the f do we want to see Crin sleeping ass? Well, treasure. Too much to carry. <laughs> he reminds me of that douchebag from the first The Mummy. You know, the, the remake with Brendan Fraser and stuff. He reminds me of the little douchebag Benny who's like always looking for treasure and double crossing uh, Brendan Fraser in the in the movie. That's who, that's who Crin reminds me of. Anyway, we got the old men having a conversation over here. Lucan and Fukin. Hey, their names rhyme. Did you guys know? Lucan and Fukin. Fukin, Lucan. The thought pains me. We old ones are prepared, but it hurts to see young ones die. Or, it hurts to see someone's die! <sighs> That's how they should have sounded, because he's old. Almost forgot to do my old man voice. Is that really all we got? Is that it? I'm coming in! Oh god, Victor, what are you doing here? Hey man, when you're a leader, and you're tired, you fucking sleep. What's he giving me? Steel hatchet. What the fuck am I supposed to do with a steel hatchet? Oh. Oh. It's Gremio's hatchet. My bad. I brought it back from Sonya Prison. I kept it hidden away until now. I thought it would only sadden you more. But I may lose my life tomorrow, so I thought I'd give it to you tonight. I guess that's a good way to go, since nobody else knew about it except for you. Many lives will be lost, but you must go on for all the soldiers who believe in the future. For Gremio, correct? I guess we'll do it for Gremio. I mean... I wasn't a big fan personally, but I mean, if Funky G likes him, then I guess I like him. I can't hate on Gremio. He's so tragic. I just, I don't know. I just ha don't have that emotional attachment to Gremio that I probably should. It's just not there. I wish I did, because Gremio was a cool guy. He's so nice. So it's just sad to see him go, you know? And I think, yep, to move on with the plot we actually have to go all the way down to the docks so let's head down to the basement floor head outside and see what Matthew's labor force has accomplished did they get 500 boats going holy shit looks like a bunch of icebergs to me sure has some crazy ideas no kidding using my thrash for something like this what we used the dragon to make those what did we do they froze it using a dragon's breath? Wait, dragon's breath is is ice breath? It's not fire? That's strange. Cool. So we made a bunch of ice boats with a dragon breath. Kind of cool, I guess. 500 boats. Let's do this. It's time to attack the fortress of Shazarad by boat, of course. I don't even think Sonya's going to know what even hit her. Boom. Time for the battle at the Floating Fortress of Shazarad. Now the strange part about this battle is even though it says it's a floating fortress and all that, we actually are going to fight on land. We just use the boats to get there. And we're taking Sonya by surprise. I swear by my name of Sonya Shulin that I will defend the Floating Fortress. Well, you know what, Sonya? I feel sorry for you because you's about to get done up, son. Hey, you're pretty good. Shut up, Taiho. What are you doing in this battle? You're not a main character. Get out of here. How dare you? How dare you call me hot? You don't call a general hot. So, let's not balls this up like I did the last battle, seeing as how this one is more even. I barely have more troops. And I should probably also note that this is the final battle in the game. The final army battle. So, you would do well to be careful and make sure that nobody dies in this battle. So, we're using our ninja tactics to make sure I can figure out exactly what she's going to do every time. So she's going to start off with some magic attacks. So let's bust out the bow power. Let's go. Force protectors, let's go. Let's wrap this up. Let's knock the fools down. Magic these bitches up. No magic attack for you. Aw, oh, yeah. We already know how deadly magic can, or arrows can be to magic. So let's try to keep ahead of her magic attacks for sure. And I'm just going to use up all of my ninja to make sure that we... Don't get killed at all. Let's see. What are you going to do now? The enemy's next to plan is Sonya's charge. So if she's going to charge, then we do's magic with the children of the runes. Time to get destroyed with Luke, Lot, and Crowley. Ready to ready for big time casualties? Sucks to be you, Sonya. Boom! 5,000 damage. Jesus, that's a third of her army gone in one fell blow. 
fantastic. All right, let's hit him with one last ninjas. And then once the ninjas have, are all used up, I'll try to use the thieves again, and hopefully they won't fail me. But by the time... She's going to use another charge attack, so we'll use another magic. But by the time I have to use ninjas and, or the thieves, I should be able to finish her off, actually. Because this should probably... This is going to get her big-time damage, too. Probably knock out at least half. Yep. There's another 4,000. So she's down to about another 4,000 left. So let's see if our thieves can uh, not fail me like they have in the past. I feel like these guys have failed me more times than not. It's kind of disappointing. The enemy's next plan is... I didn't see it coming. Kryn, you son of a bitch. Fine. Let's go ahead and bust out some dragon attack and see how that goes. Behold the power of my dragon. Eat magic. Y'all got ice breath. Yeah, there goes another 1100. Good stuff. All right, now let's see if we can get some of those bitches to turn traitor. Wouldn't that be cool? It's just funny to see what some of these can do. Oh, by the way, when you use Dragon Attack, that does use up a turn. So take that into account when you use it. Forgive us, we have failed. Man, I swear, every time I use that, the one that's supposed to persuade enemies onto my team, they fail. I've wanted to show you guys that succeed with just one time, but it never does. I feel disappointed. Let's see if this doesn't fail me. The enemy's next plan is... I didn't see it coming. Ladon, you failed me too. Off with your head. What else can we do? We can boost the chat. Oh, that's all we can do is boost. Well, in that case, let's go with the safe one. And we'll try and use... You know what? I'm going to use... I know it's like the weakest one now, but I'm going to use this one just to be safe. The commander's team. Yep. Charge versus bow. Perfect. Shoot, we might be able to finish him off right here. Yep. Victorious. Right? Oh, no. She has one left. Never mind. Well, fuck it. Let's, uh... Shit. You know what, let's try to be safe and just hit him with the last thief just to see what happens. I don't even want to lose one damn fucking more person on my damn army, I swear to god. The enemy's next plan is Sonya's magic. See, I'm glad I didn't charge. Time to finish him off with uh, one of our new bow attacks now that we have Clive, Pesmersia, and Mace. Kind of a strange combination of people, but whatever. The way those are set up is is a set thing. You can't change those, so it is what it is. Anyways, we are victorious. No casualties. Yay. Is that the first army battle I've done flawlessly? Or did I do at least one earlier that was flawless? I don't remember. Either way, one of my best showings in the game, finally. And at least it happened on the last one. Tengar, what are you doing in there? Shut up, Tengar. Nobody asked you. I'm so sorry, Master Tio. No, you're not, you liar. Liar. I don't know what she lied about, but she's a liar. So here we are at the Fortress of Shazarad. Are we going to infiltrate? I guess so. Unload the oil barrels. Commander Funky G, we will burn this fortress down with oil. To do so, you must go and close the floodgate at the far end of the fortress. So I guess we are going to infiltrate. Let's do this. I'm going to take Victor with us. I guess so. Anyway, so who are we going to use as our party? That's a good question. So I'm going to try and use a completely new party that I haven't used um, yet. I guess we can't use Flick or Humphrey, which is fine because we've already used them plenty. And I'm not taking Lucan anyways, so don't worry about it, Lucan. I wasn't going to take you anyways. Let's try and use a whole new party here. In fact, I would love to use Alan and Gren Seal because I almost used Alan last time and then I kind of changed my mind. And I think they're both front row, so I'm going to have to stick to other people after that. Where the hell are they? There's Grin Seal. He has the Thunder Rune. And Alan has the Rage Rune. And then I also have... Who else should I use? Two more slots open. And I want to p use people who can at least are medium or long range. Let's try... I would love to show you guys some more uh, Unite attacks between like all my Elves... Um, all my pirates, all my thieves. I would love to show you guys some of those. So eventually, maybe I will do that. I don't know. Maybe I'll have like an episode where I just show nothing but all the different Unite attacks. Like as a special bonus episode. I've thought about that. Maybe I will do that. Just because even I'm curious to see what some of them do. Anyways, who are we using here? Um, You know, let's use Quincy just for fun. Why not? That's a character I never really use. And, you know, let's use Warren. We just got him. I've never really used him before. Sounds good to me. Anyways, okay, so before I go inside of here, I'm actually going to go back to my fortress, or my castle, and get some 
You can make equipment and stuff so everybody has equipment because if you look, everybody's fucking empty. So I'm going to be right back with equipment and stuff and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I'm back here in Shazarad. Party's all set up. If you want to see my stuff, uh, I basically just decked out everyone with the best stuff I could buy or the best stuff I already had. And I put a killer rune on Warren and Quincy. Alan and Grinseal already have a thunder and a rage rune equipped. The prosperity rune has been on Victor for a long time, but it's still there. Now let's head into the fortress of Shazarad and see what's cracking. Now one thing I did not do is level up the characters who need leveling up. So Grinseal and Alan and Quincy are all pretty low level. So hopefully these first few battles we can get them caught up to speed and level. And that's the beauty of this game. It only takes a couple battles. It really is nice. Let's kick it off with a Chaos Shield, which I already have plenty of those. You can buy them at the shop at any time. Anyway, inside of here, we're going to fight Elite Soldiers. Um, I'm going to save my magic attacks right now. In fact, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use a Hell for the first few battles so I can get everybody up to speed with their their leveling. Because right now, Alan, Grinseal, and Quincy might die in one hit. Maybe. I mean, they're not completely weak because they're pretty high defense characters. Because they can equip things like full helmets and full armor and dragon armor and shit, shit like that. Same with Warren, too. But, um... I just want to get them up to at least level 40, closer to 50, and it'll take a few battles to get to that point. This isn't really like a long dungeon, though, so don't don't expect to be here for a long time. But you do want to be a little bit careful because this place does culminate in a boss battle. Yep, one of the rare occasions where the dungeon actually ends in a boss battle. I know I said uh, last episode, I think it was, yeah, when I was in Moravia, that a lot of the dungeons in this game do not end with a boss battle. Well, it's more like... 50%. It's pretty much like every other one has a boss. So, Moravia didn't have a boss. Well, now Shazarad does. I guess that's a good way to look at it. Every other one. And as we go, people will start doing more and more damage. I'm just going to keep an eye on my HP so people don't die. Um, not a big deal if I die. I put Mega Medicines on everyone, so I should be okay. Guard Ring. I think I might be able to put that on somebody to help them out. In fact, I think I'll give it to Alan because Alan has a gauntlet. Nobody wants a fucking gauntlet at this point. Gauntlets are weak. Get that shit out of here. Get that piece of shit out of here. And like I said, this is not a long dungeon. This is a short dungeon. But for some reason, this short dungeon culminates in a boss fight. I find it strange. You, f you should find it strange. It is strange. But... Hence the reason why I want to get a little bit leveled up before I get too far into this place. There's not a whole lot of treasures. There's at least one, two more that I... Three more, I think. Three more. I think, and I think one of them is only after you fight the boss. So actually only two more treasures and then we'll be fighting the boss. And it looks like everybody's hit the level 40s except for Quincy. And I just got a Mega Medicine from that battle. Oh wait, never mind. That's the last treasure right there. The Master Garb. Or the second to last treasure, I should say. And I think the Master Garb can be equipped to Funky G, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it might help if I actually give it to him first. Well, it looks like anybody can equip it if you're a guy. But we're definitely giving that to Funky G, for sure. Dragon Armor's nice, but Master Garb is the best armor in the game. At least for... Uh, it's just the best random armor in the game. And yes, I'm walking around. Gonna fight another random battle, because... I don't want to get too much further into here. Without leveling up Quincy to at least level 40. There we go. Oh, look. Another new enemy anyways. we got some sirens here. Definitely a new enemy. These ones can be kind of irritating. But they don't have a whole lot of HP. So they're not entirely scary. But if you fight like six of them at once. Then you got to be a little bit of afraid. Looks like Quincy's level 40 now. I think I want to do one more battle. Just to, just to be on the safe side. I really don't want to lose this boss battle. Like at all. We don't want to run into another Necklord situation. And I don't think anybody I brought with me has a healing rune. I mean, I brought Mega Medicines with everyone to be on the safe side. But if this boss ends up being one of those bosses that attacks all all the time, I'm going to have issues. Hopefully, I don't have to deal with these issues. I may have chosen the worst party ever for this. So if I did, I guess we'll just start the next episode by beating the boss. Don't want to have to resort to that, but it is always what could happen at any point in time. So let's get everybody healed up all the way. Let's just see what this boss is. Fuck it. I believe if we go this way... Oh, never mind. This way is the last treasure now that I think about it. 
Um, let's go ahead and use one more hell, just so I don't have to worry about getting damage in this battle. For some reason, I thought you could, you had to go south first before you could go over here and grab this treasure. Because I'm pretty sure this is actually the last treasure. Unless this is a mega medicine and I'm mistaken. Actually, this might be a mega medicine, never mind. Because I don't think I picked up the mega medicine in a chest yet, have I? The last thing I got was the master garb, and before that was a guard ring, I think. Either way, we'll find out momentarily, won't we? More battles is good anyways. Okay, that's the Mega Medicine. Alright, never mind. Well, we still have one more treasure then. One more treasure, which shall be down here. But first, we gotta deal with the giant clam! Reminds me of the giant clam in Pismo Beach when I was there. It actually looks exactly the same, except for... We're gonna find out that it's not exactly the same. It's the Venus Shell. What we're gonna do to the Venus Shell? Everything we can. And that includes the Judgment Spell that I withheld from showing you last episode. It's time to unleash the Beast. You ready for this? Go to hell. You will be judged bef before four, before you're carried by six. 1,500 damage. Did you guys catch that? That was some damage right there. Definitely a spell you want to utilize on a boss like this. And if you just noticed how much damage that did, over 2,000. So it's obvious that this boss is weak to thunder damage. Now, is it also weak to fire? We might be destroying this shell a lot faster than I expected. Instead of going with the healing type of party that I usually like to use, this is definitely the type of party that's going to be dealing out massive amounts of damage. So stick to that ball of lightning, stick to your attack, stick to your... Actually, you can heal your brother, Gren Seal. You can bust out some more judgment and everybody else attack. Let's do this. Finish him. This actually might kill him a lot faster than I expected. I, I'm pleasantly surprised. Owned. Owned. We're destroying. We are destroying all over the shell Venus's face. Oh, look at that thousand damage. Victor, you're crazy. It's probably because I maxed out Victor's weapon all the way to the highest level. And you know what? Uh, no, I keep using Thunder. There's no reason not to use Thunder. Because Thunder hits uh, this guy pretty damn hard. As for you, yeah, just everybody else. We're good with everyone else. But yeah. Thunder seems to be this guy's weakness, so use all your thunder spells. A good way to really kick this guy's ass is to bring more than one person that has a thunder rune or a lightning rune. You'll definitely be dealing out lots and lots of damage. Like, if you bring flick... Oh, well, wait, you can't bring flick. Well, whatever. If you buy some lightning runes, that's just as good. Either way, this guy shouldn't have too much more HP. I'm pretty much demolishing him to death right now. Holy crap. How many turns was that? That was like four turns. I think that's the fastest I've ever killed that thing in my life. And for winning, you get 200,000 bits, which is crazy awesome. Anyway, so now we can burn down the fortress because we're going to close the floodgates. Go, Victor. A go, Victor. Like a bear, yo. Like a bear, yo. All right. Let's get the f out of this beast. Let's grab our tr last treasure chest, which is another thunder crystal. Yay. Which I think is the better lightning crystal. Thunder is better than lightning for some odd reason. And now we can head back out the fortress. And yes, we have to walk back. There's a reason why we have to walk back. We can't just teleport out. There's a reason for it. You'll see that reason soon enough. Soon enough. And I know this episode's longer than I usually do episodes of Sukaden, but I wanted to kind of fit this whole last fortress infiltration all in the same episode, since I wasn't sure about next episode. See, my next episode is going to be kind of uneventful. Sort of. Well, I won't say that. But the next episode is gonna I have plans for, and I wanted to make sure I was done with this. And it would have been two short episodes if I had I split this up. But anyways, let's stop talking about the end of this episode when we're not even to that point yet. Die, you generals, or whatever you are want to call yourselves. You imperial soldier bitches. <sighs> Don't kill me. Die. And if I could let go of these bastards, I would, but for some reason, yeah, I'm not high enough level. It's probably because of fucking Quincy over here. He's only level 51. If I could get everyone to, like, level 55, I bet you I could let go of those bitches. Either way. We're almost back out of here. It's really not a long dungeon, like I said. It's got one more long area here. And then this is the last... I think this was the last screen. I think we're on the last screen already, right? Oh. One more battle for the road. Uno mas battle for the road. 
I guess my biggest grief with these battles right here is that they have so much damn HP. Stop having so much HP, you assholes. Stop it. Cut it out. Stop being such douchebags. Douchebugs. Die. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. Blammo. Does anybody need to be healed up before I get... So I can be a little bit more careful. Use up your Mega Medicines. I mean, I'm getting them for free around here. Might as well use them up. Wait. What? Wait a minute, Fucky G. I must ask you something. And... What? Where does she come from? I didn't see her anywhere in there. Yeah, you're Sonya. Hello. Hello, last of the five Imperial Generals. Why did you betray the Empire? Why did you betray your own father? I didn't betray him. He, They betrayed me. You don't even know, do you? Yeah. What are you saying, or what you are saying is not true. Damn right. Oh, no. They set the place on fire and we're not even out of here yet. Hurry, we gotta get out of here. Yep. Let's get the f*** out of here. Luckily, we're almost out, but we gotta get the f*** out of here. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Sonya wants to fight us, but we're all gonna die. Yep. That's another reason why I didn't want to end the episode yet, because we gotta fight Sonya Shulin one-on-one -on -one to the death. So does that mean we're not gonna be able to recruit her? Who knows, but what, what does matter is that we're fighting her. Now, I probably could have saved some of my magic for her, like, save one of my judgment spells for her instead of wasting it on the Shell Venus. But the Shell Venus has so much more HP than her, I wasn't really worried about it. And this bitch tends to attack one person more than, like, all, so I wasn't really worried about it. And one thing you gotta be careful is when you physical attack her, though, because she will counterattack you. She's a human character. Human characters have play by their own rules. That's for damn sure. Bam. Hit her with that killer rune, baby. I'm gonna knock her down with some more magic. Hit her with some more fucking magic. More magic. More magic, magic. And I'm gonna have Quincy heal up Victor so he doesn't die. Well, you gotta be careful, though, because Victor is slow, so you gotta be careful. And Sonya is actually pretty fast, so you gotta take that into account when you're deciding what moves you're going to do. Oh, Victor's dead. Fuck my life. I fucked that up. I really balls that up, didn't I? <sighs> I didn't think she was going to attack Victor again. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Hopefully the main character moves to the front row and not Warren. That would be really nice. Victor is not going to make or break winning this battle, though, so I'm not going to be that sad about it. Cool, the main character moved to the front row. That works for me. Alan, you can attack. Or that's Grand Seal, I guess. Alan, you can hit with your Dancing Flame some more. You attack, you attack. Everyone attack, attack. Old Sonya Shulin's gonna die. E-I-E-I-O. And when she dies, it's gonna be sad. E-I-E-I-O. With a smack smack there and a smackity smack here. Smack attack, smack attack, everywhere a smack attack. Old Sonya Shulin's gonna die. Oopsie, opsie, oh. Damn it, someone else is gonna die because... I should have brought a character who was really fast, just to make sure they were faster than Sonya. Because yes, I remember, I did remember that I was going to have to fight Sonya. Sonya seriously just owned like all of my party in one turn. That was not even fair. What a bitch. Alright, you heal, Gren Seal, you heal, Quincy, and you can just attack because you're slow as fuck. I just got to make sure she doesn't kill someone. Aw oh, man. I'm going to lose this, aren't I? This is not going to be good. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. I swear to God, if I lose, I'm not going to be happy. Heal yourself. Uh, heal yourself, and you just attack, I guess. This is bad. Oh, yeah. Shake and bag, baby. Boom, and a critical hit. Oh, man. I mean, I'm not dead yet, but it's not looking too good right now. I gotta be completely careful right now. I'll try to hit her with magic. This way, that way I won't get counterattacked too much. I just gotta make sure I keep dealing out damage. I feel kind of dumb for not conserving some of my magic for her. I mean, I knew she was coming up, but I didn't think she was this hard. I forgot she did an attack that hit all. That was my fault. I need to try and avoid using physical attacks against her too. That way she can't counterattack me. Damn, that move sucks though. His attack is so much stronger. Just heal yourself. You, use, another, use your last black shadow. You, heal yourself. Whew, 
this is going to be close. I can feel the loss already looming over this. Is the loss really going to happen? I would love to stop loss, if you had it, I mean. Die, Sognya. Sognya. I should be alive after this turn, so I, I'll be okay. And then I'll be healed up. It's close. We're going to be cutting this close, that's for damn sure. Attack. I guess we're going all attack now. See what you got, guys. Boom. Bam. Kerblawi. Nice. They all hit her. Sorry, right, we can live through that. You can attack. You heal Grinseal. You can attack again. Whew. Just keep keep on keeping on. Don't give up. Never surrender. I wish those fools had better attack power, but to be quite honest, Alan and Grinseal have shitty attack power. They really do. And there's not much you can do about it, to be quite honest. In which case, I'm just going to use magic to avoid getting counterattacked. Because their attack really isn't better than their magic. Here I was thinking it was, but it wasn't. It's only better if they get a critical hit. Come on, kill her. Get lucky and kill her. Die, Sonya. Oh my god. This is just this is just sad. The amount of damage I'm dealing out right now is just effing sad. You know what? I'm not worried about him. You attack. You attack. And you can heal your friend Gren Seal. How's that sound? Die! Ah! I gotta have the main character attack more because he's the one that's doing all the damage. And I also can't make it let him die, so I gotta be careful of that as well. You gotta make sure you don't die, main character. All right, Funky, you live. Live, Funky, so that others may live as well. Kill her. Yes! Woo! I got, I, you got it. I got to be quite honest. I was a little bit worried there. Just a little. Just a little. But victorious we are. Suck on that, Sonya. Of course, if we can beat Tio, we can beat your bitch ass. But I will not let you defile me. I am the Empire's, His Highness's, Tio's lover, his friend. Lovers and friends. <laughs> Victor doesn't want the pretty lady to die. And I guess we're taking her with us. Fine with me. I'm down. Let's get the fuck out of here and figure out who the hell started burning this place down before they were supposed to. What the hell? Who attacked Mathayu? Mathayu, you gonna be alright? What happened around here? Who did what here? Sanchez, damn you. What? It was Sanchez? He lit the oil. He attacked Mathayu. Oh, you little bitch. You've been deceiving me this entire time? What a fucking ass face. You mean, he's been working with them this entire time? Like, even from the beginning? Which means he's the reason why... Why Odessa... Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, hell no. We can't, we can't let that go. Uh-uh. That means he's the reason why Gremio's dead. Pro is, he's probably the reason why Gremio's dead, too. You son of a bitch. Take his life, Flick. Do it. Do it. It'll be fitting if you kill him with your sword, which is named after Odessa. Hell yeah, do it. Fucking deceiver of all deceivers. Wait, what? Why is Matthayu saying wait? Yeah, are you okay? You, are you delusional? Oh, great. You think that you think that Sanchez's death is going to lower our morale? You're crazy. You're crazy. Sanchez, get the fuck out of here. We are on our final march, though. Maybe we could just kill him after the war is over, just for fun. Yeah, fine. Let's go attack the freaking Greg Minister, and then we'll kill Sanchez later. We can just hang him and be like, this guy almost got us killed. Anyways, that is going to conclude this episode of Sukaden. So we captured the General Sonia Shulin, but will she be persuaded to join our army and round out our, round out our 108 Stars of Destiny? Find out next time on Let's Play Sukaden. Peace.